Lieutenant Dan Band Percussionist Beth Gottlieb and the Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps warming up the crowd at last week's Lieutenant Dan Band concert. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More on the concert and Gary Sinise in a moment. Also this week, the Marine Cryptologic Support Battalion partners with a local school. Another opportunity to recycle unwanted electronics is coming up. And May is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. We'll have details on Fort Meade's observance later. But first, Memorial Day weekend is here, and with it, the annual 100 Days of Summer Safety Campaign. Fort Meade starts the campaign each year with the Installation Safety Office's Safety Health and Wellness Expo. This year, dozens of vendors were on hand, all promoting safe and healthy living. The most popular attraction? Probably an impaired driving course. Installation Safety Officer Kirk Fector says the expo is great, but we need to carry the message with us all year round. You know, you have a capstone event, uh, you know, you really concentrate on an awareness, but how do you extend that? And one of the things you do is if you have a regular safety meeting, you, you say once a week we're going to have really devote some time. And then the other thing is incorporating safety tips. So every day, a safety tip. Just a moment to consider safety, consider the awareness, and have that in the back of your mind. And when you have that awareness, then you know, it's like pulling out a card, you know. Hey, I need, I need a card right now to win at this situation. Uh, this can't be the last day. This has to be a day that sets the mood and sets a, a, a consideration of safety throughout the year. Meanwhile, last Thursday, Fort Meade got a big treat with a free concert by actor Gary Sinise and the Lieutenant Dan Band. Before the show, Sinise took time out to meet some folks backstage, getting coined by National Security Agency Director Admiral Michael Rogers. Show preliminaries also included a performance by the Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. And then very much the folks that made this happen, the Garrison East Foundation and the United Services Organization, big round of applause for the USO. Me TV caught up with Sinise for a moment who shared his thoughts on touring with the Lieutenant Dan Band. And after uh, I played Vietnam veteran and Forrest Gump. I started working with our wounded, and that uh, you know I've met extraordinary people who've been wounded in combat. Uh, who've inspired me every day. And then after September 11th, when we started deploying to Iraq and Afghanistan, I just wanted to to do something, and that's led it. You know, led me to military bases all over the world, uh, meeting thousands and thousands of troops, doing all kinds of interesting things to see what what our military does up close and personal. In other news, 30 Marines from Fort Meade's Marine Cryptologic Support Battalion spent a better part of Lair Friday last week volunteering at Jessup Elementary School, just a few miles from Fort Meade. The Marines have been volunteering at Jessup Elementary for more than five years as part of Fort Meade's Partners in Education program, which matches service members with volunteer opportunities at local schools. For me, I couldn't do this without them. I usually get 25 to 30 Marines each year. They come out and support us with uh, making balloons, running our stations. The kids love having them here, and I think the Marines like coming too. And uh, again, I couldn't get this done without them. Events were set up in the gym, on the blacktop, and on the field. But on this 90 degree plus day, the most popular station by far was the wet one. It's actually really awesome. It's a really good opportunity to come and play with kids and have fun. Uh, I'm actually a mom. I love little kids and I just, I like to be active and just have fun and have fun with kids. For the Marines, it's not only just a way to give back to the schools and the community, but to show what the Marines are all about. At first, they might be a little shy, uh, but once they see that we're normal people just like them, like, they have fun with us. Elsewhere, Fort Meade's Director of Public Works, Environmental Division, would like you to know that they're holding another electronics recycling and data destruction event. It's coming up Wednesday, June 14th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., so you have time to gather up all those unwanted electronics. Most items will be accepted free of charge, things like desktop and laptop computers, tablets, cell phones, printers, gaming systems, VCRs, DVD players, and much more. Some items, however, will incur a charge televisions and old CRT computer monitors, hard drives and other digital media. If you have any questions, you can contact the Fort Meade Environmental Division at 301-677-9170. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Memorial Day weekend and a great Meade Week.